Greetings, I'm Jonathan Spirit, I'm terrified, and welcome to AD of Engineering Super Shorts. Today, I'm fighting the Ender Dragon and possibly the Wither. That's why I've cooked up this Dark Steel, and why I have this Capacitors in my inventory, and why I collected so many levels in my Enchanter, and why I made this Vat, and why I'm making this Coffee Maker. By the way, I upgraded the Solar Cell to Tier 2, and also the Void Ore Miner, so I have had no problem with power or resources, nor will I at all today. So, first step, make the armor. Legs, helmet, boots, and chest plate. I also want the Dark Bow. For that, I need Nutritious 6, which requires nutrient distillation. Two nutritious sticks, a skeletal contractor, and the dark bow. Now to empower them all. Empowered enchanted everything, except for the armor, because protection 4 requires 64 dark steel, and that's gonna take a while. Next up, I want potion effects. Best option for that, the coffee maker. The coffee maker takes coffee, empty cups, and water, and certain items in milk, to produce coffee. To make a certain type of coffee, you have to add items for different effects. The more items you add, the higher the amplifier. Adding milk gives you a 2 minute boost to the effect, but reduces the amplifier by 1, which is why I have strength 3, not strength 4. Protection 4 armor achieved, with 63 glass bottles for Dragon's Breath. And now it's off to the end. I'm a bad fighter, so it'll probably be slow, but I'll get back to you if there's anything interesting. Ender Dragon successfully defeated. Last thing to do in the end? Go to the End City. Why do I need to go to an End City? For the Elytra, a component of all flight-related recipes in the pack. And for Chorus Fruit, which make end rods, which are used to make RF Tools machine frames. Next up, I want to kill the Wither. But I do like having a nice home, so I'm going to need to make a Witherproof box first. To do that, I'll make Draconium Infused Obsidian, which requires Reinforced Stone. For that, I'm going to need Construction Foam. Step 1, make a CF Sprayer. Step 2, CF Powder. One of these will make you 10 blocks of reinforced stone. However, we first need to get it into the CF sprayer. So, step 3, put CF powder into a fluid solid canning machine set to fluid enrich with a bucket of water for each CF powder. Switch tanks, switch to fill cell from tank, and throw in your CF sprayer. Now we have a CF sprayer with 2,000 millibuckets of construction foam. Step 4, make iron scaffold. Step 6, spray. As you can see, my CF sprayer is now empty and this foam will start to harden up into reinforced stone. You can add sand to speed up the process. And now we can make draconium infused obsidian. I'm here in my mining world, ready to go far away. Behold, my wither box. If you can call it a box. Time to kill the wither, see you soon. That was much, much easier than the dragon fight. Now that I have the elytra, it's a good time to make a jet pack so I can move around easier. Don't worry, the elytra comes back after you use it. Two electronic circuits, one advanced circuit, a jetpack. Notice the Elytra has come back, even though I've already made the jetpack. Already have a bat box for my electric jetpack, because I had replaced it with my CESU. And with that, I can make my electric jetpack. Sadly, it has a very small energy buffer, so I'm going to want to make a charging energy crystal, which is admittedly a bit expensive. But expense is not a problem. 12 electronic circuits, 4 RE batteries, and a charging RE battery. 8 heat exchangers, 4 advanced RE batteries, an advanced charging battery, 4 component heat exchangers, 36 energy and dust, 4 energy crystals, and a charging energy crystal. My charging energy crystal won't charge in the CESU, but it will in the ultimate hybrid solar panel. Although, it'll take a bit. I'm flying! My dark boots prevent fall damage when I follow my jetpack. I'm also preparing the materials for an ultimate hybrid solar panel, because I'm gonna set up a replicator system. I'll need a mass fabricator, a recycler, pattern storage, a scanner, and a replicator. I'll need 10 machine casings, 6 advanced machine casings, 24 electronic circuits, 19 advanced circuits, enough diamonds, a Labatron crystal, and a mass fabricator, an MFE, glass fiber cable, frequency transmitters, 3 teleporters, 2 MV transformers, 2 advanced RE batteries, 2 HV transformers, and a replicator, a luminator, 2 electric motors, and a scanner. A few more electronic circuits, since it appears I didn't make enough. Two more advanced circuits. Two mining lasers. Pattern storage requires modular storage from RF tools, which needs a machine frame, which requires nutrient distillation. And, about to get my machine frame, modular storage, two crystal memory, and a pattern storage. Compressor, recycler, and 24 overclocker upgrades. More glass fiber cable. Two transformer upgrades for the recycler. An ejector upgrade, which I'll set to output to the bottom side. 
And last but not least, an ultimate hybrid solar panel. After some advice, I ended up making an extra recycler, some more transformer upgrades, and an extra ejector upgrade. And an extra cobblestone generator tier 5. Now to set up the system. Two cobblestone generators, a mass fabricator, resetting my ejector upgrades, two recyclers, a fluid ejector upgrade, a replicator, pattern storage, which has to be next to the replicator, and finally, the scanner. Some glass fiber cables, a lever for the mass fabricator, and an ultimate hybrid solar panel. I'm gonna need more power, but for now, this build is working perfectly. And that's it for today's episode. Now that I'm in age 6, I can use RF tools. What I really want is deep resonance or advanced generators. So next episode, I'm gonna work on more power. As always, I'd love feedback and tips so I can be a better YouTuber and a better player. I hope you enjoyed!